Hello and welcome, my name is Andrew Peel, and in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate some new development that I'm working on to automate the process of creating 2D dimensioned drawings. This can be used for clients to sign off on, they can be used for manufacturing purposes, or used by the installer to have a printout of where each cabinet needs to be placed in the room. You probably know that Blender excels at creating 3D renderings of spaces, but doesn't include a simple way to create dimensioned 2D drawings. This is still an early development, but it will give you a good understanding of how this functionality will work. Let's go and jump into Blender to see how it works. So I'm gonna start out by adding in a cabinet to our scene, and then here we'll select on one of these parts, and then here in the sidebar panel in the assemblies tab, we'll see the information for the selected assembly. And the way that this works is that we can create a layout view for the assembly that we have selected by using this command, create assembly layout. And so if we wanted to create a layout for just the left side, we can use that command. But like I mentioned in a previous video, all of these parts that make up the cabinet are their own assembly, but they're nested into other assemblies which make up the entire cabinet. So here, if we use the select parent assembly, we can see that targets the carcass. If we use it one more time, that'll be the base door cabinet, which is the entire assembly in this case. And so I'm going to go ahead and create a layout view for this. So I'll go ahead and use the create assembly layout command. Here we're going to give it a name. We'll just call it base cabinet for now. And now we can determine what views we want to include. And so we'll go ahead and include them all for the front, top, and the side view. And then we'll click OK. So now we have our layout created with our front, our top, and our side view. And if we wanted to, we can just go ahead and create a render of this. So we'll go ahead and click render and that will generate the layout. And we're just doing a EV rendering with freestyle to create the outline and the dashed lines for the interior components. But this is pretty basic right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options that we have. So here in the page setup interface, we can specify a page size that we're gonna be printing this to. And so right now we just have the eight and a half by 11 selected, but you can determine other larger pages if you want to. And by default, the fit to paper option is gonna be turned on, which is gonna fit all of our assembly views onto this page, but it's not gonna be set to a specific scale. And so if we turn this off, it's gonna go in default to one to one, which we can see that since we have this eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, and we're trying to print out this cabinet at its full scale, obviously that whole cabinet is not gonna fit on that piece of paper. And so that's where it comes into play where you can specify what scale you want the layout to be. And so here, if I select one inch equals one foot, we can see that it has scaled down our assembly to fit on the piece of paper. And so now when we print this out, one inch on the piece of paper is gonna equal one foot. And so here, let's go ahead and just kinda of move these a bit in the drawing here. And next, we have the ability to specify a print style. So by default, we're using full color, but if you wanna do black and white and monochrome, you can specify that information here. You can also create new styles as well. But for now, let's go and leave it on full color. After that, if you wanted to create additional views of your assembly, you can use these options here, but since we've already included a top, front, and side view, there's no need to add additional views to this. And then we have the ability to add in dimensions and annotations. And so here, if we click Add Dimension, we can see that it just automatically added in a dimension for the height of our assembly. Now there's gonna be a lot more functionality included from the ability just to kind of click two points to determine what information you want to dimension in your layout. There will also be ways of automating the process of having it create all of the dimensions for the type of assembly that you're working with. And apart from adding in dimensions, you can also add in annotations or title block information. For now, let's just go ahead and click render again, just so we can kind of see how this prints out. So we can see here we have our assembly with our simple dimension added. Now, this is a really simple example. So let's go and take a look at some other samples that I've created so you can get an idea of what sort of drawings you can create. So here we'll go and open up a file that I've created. So here's a assembly for a cabinet side. And so here we'll go and render this out real quick. So here you can see in this example, we're just creating a view for just one part of our cabinet, but there's a lot more dimensions included. We also have some annotations added to this layout, 
with a label which prints out the name of the layout along with the scale of the drawing that we're looking at. And one thing that's really cool about this is that all of this information is added into the 3D environment. So you can kind of see how all of this data is included in the viewport as well. And these are all just standard Blender objects. So you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to what materials are going to be assigned to them and how they're going to visually look in the drawing. Let's go and take a look at another example here. Go ahead and open up just an entire wall elevation. And so here, since a wall is an assembly two and all of these cabinets are just parented to that wall, by selecting a wall and creating a front layout of that, we can easily generate some elevations. And so here, if we create a rendering of this, we can see all the information that an installer would need. And so we have the dimensions on how far off the wall these cabinets need to be placed, the dimensions of each cabinet, in some cases, you might want the dimension to where the center of the appliance is going to be positioned. And of course, labels and anything else that we need to include. So this is a simple example of how you would go about creating different views for an assembly. But this is something that can be automated and customized. I plan to develop a one button solution that will generate plan view and elevation drawings specifically for kitchen, bath and closet spaces. Having an automated way for designers to create this type of information is a huge time saver. I also plan to create an automated way for users to generate part drawings. This could be helpful to provide to a manufacturer to understand how each part needs to be manufactured. I'll be releasing more information on my development progress soon, so feel free to subscribe to this channel for future updates, and I'll see you in the next one.